The plant is, is native to Sumatra, Indonesia. It's, it's sort of a triple rare plant. You know, it, it's rare in its native environment in Sumatra. And it's rare in cultivation, so now often encountered in public gardens. And it's also rare to get it to bloom. So this is a, a really unique experience for us horticulturally and for the region, really. 1939 was the last time we had anything in New York like this bloom, and that was at the New York Botanic Garden. We have artists that come here. They want to see the colors. They want to see the shape. It's so unusual. We don't think about plants and associate this with a plant. We've been growing this behind the scenes for 10 years and each year getting only a leaf. So this year, inexplicably, we got a flower bud and that's where all the excitement comes from. The only way that this plant has to attract this pollinator is by stinking and uh, pretending to be something that is rotting. It smelled really bad this morning. And it only smells when the female flowers are receptive to pollen because that's what it's attracting the dung beetles and the flies to pollinate it. It smell like that dog. Like a rotten dog rotting. Like rotting flesh. It really stinks very, very bad. And somehow people seem to be attracted by that. It's not totally offensive, but yet you it's distinct. Right? Like I will know when I smell that, you know, like that. That's the that's the arum. I came here very early this morning, I came at 4 because I really wanted to smell it and I have to tell you, it really smells very bad. As you look at the plant, what I liked about this one, at the flower is, it really to me looks like a sculpture. With some of the other pictures of the titanium that I've seen, either the spath is laying down really low or the spadix is a little more shapeless in that. Color-wise, texture-wise, it's a pretty dramatic plant, so I think a lot of people are, are realizing it's a lot more beautiful than the press might have, uh, have otherwise suggested. It's just the color the chartreuse, the maroon, and it also has a presence to it when you look at it. It definitely, definitely speaks to you. To be able to grow it and to bring it to flower is itself a combination of a skills, knowledge, and also passion. For someone like uh, me and uh, my colleague Mark Fisher, it's kind of like uh, winning the Oscar. It's kind of like a coronation of a career, being able to, okay, we are in that pool of people that really made it.